I've had a fair amount of people ask me how I actually make the Z panels. So I thought, hey, you know what? I will put together a quick video and just explain the process. So the first step is, of course, mixing up the hempcrete. And you can find a lot of information about this on the internet, but uh, what I found out was that mortar mixers work a lot better than cement mixers when it comes to mixing hempcrete. So I have a little mortar mixer, and what I do is I uh, measure out all of the materials ahead of time. And I, I, I'm very particular with the weight of every single material, so I measure it down to the tenth of a pound to make sure that every single Z panel is very similar and there's a lot of consistency between each unit. So I measure materials, I put it in the, the mortar mixer, and then I have my hempcrete mix. And then what I do is I take that hempcrete mix and I pour it into these forms. And these forms are something that I created, uh, nothing real special about it. Uh, the bottom is on wheels, so that makes it a little bit easier to wheel around and slide into the drying tunnel if need be. Otherwise, these sides, uh, originally when I built this, I made the sides out of an MDF with like a, uh, just a laminated MDF, and that, that worked out pretty good, but I wanted something that was gonna be more water resistant. You know, I don't want forms swelling up over time in case, you know, water makes its way past the, the waterproof laminate. Um, so this is just like a composite trim board that is typically used to trim out a home. Um, so I'm gonna give this a shot next, but this is something else I came up with. These are just little clasps that make it real easy for the whole form to come apart. So each corner has a little clasp. You take each one of these off, and then the whole form can come apart. So this can come apart, this can come apart, I won't take it apart right now. Um, but that made it so that I can reuse the forms, of course, and take them apart real easily, and take the Z panel on the forms very easily. So that is the forms really in a nutshell. Um, one thing I should mention too though is that, of course, before I put the hempcrete in it, I actually uh, have my um, fiberglass mesh that's pre-cut. I lay that on the inside of this form, and then I put my two by four that runs horizontally across the face of the Z panel. That goes on the, um, uh, on the inside of the, the form here as well after I put in the fiberglass mesh. So the fiberglass mess, mesh goes inside and of course it hangs out over the edge. So then once I pour all the hempcrete in, I fold over that fiberglass mesh and it covers every single square inch of the Z panel. So that works out really well. When the hempcrete is poured into the form, then what I do is, and I've gotten pretty good about, um, you know, really knowing uh, the consistency that is ideal. So I'll pour in a little bit of time and I'll tamp it down, pour in a little bit more, tamp it. And then usually I do like three layers. Um, and then I, I, like I said, I've gotten pretty good at knowing the consistency that it should look like. And then when I start nearing the top, usually it sticks up just a little bit. So I have hempcrete that sticks up just a hair. So then I take this board here that is made for the top. I set it on it like this. And then I take a rubber mallet, I tap it down, make sure everything is tight. So then all the hempcrete is accounted for and the Z panel should be the consistency that it needs to be. Here you will see the inside of the form. So pretty simple, but you see I just have two by six pieces of lumber on the inside. And those are what create the recesses. So the Z panel is unique because it has a recess on both the top, on the bottom over there, and then also on the side. And that's where the Z panels interlock with each other and also made up real nicely next to your timber framing. So that's what those are for. And uh, essentially, that is how I make, uh, I make the Z panels. I do dry them out, of course, so I get down to the moisture content that I need. And then I cover it with just a real slight skim coat of lime plaster and that really helps everything hold together nicely.